Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about Rudy Giuliani and Georgia again. And then how we may be talking about it again again. Um, okay, so the first major development occurred yesterday when the plaintiffs sought to get enforcement of the judgment against Giuliani, that $146 million uh, judgment. I want to say it was 148 and then the judge reduced it by two because of another another case. But a, a, a sizable sum. Um, they wanted to be able to seek enforcement of that and start getting paid immediately. And Giuliani, of course, was like, you know, I'm supposed to have 30 days. The judge ruled... Giuliani's failure to satisfy even the more modest monetary awards entered earlier in this case provides good cause to believe that he will seek to dissipate or conceal his assets during the 30-day period. So, judge said, yeah, they can seek enforcement immediately. Um, we'll see how that plays out. Um, one of Giuliani's arguments was, you know, I, I just don't have the money. And the judge, I'm going to paraphrase this, but was basically like, don't tell me you're broke. I've met your spokesperson. Um, kind of indicating that you can't really square the idea of I have no money while having a, a sizable staff. Um, so you have that going on, that development, and... It seems as though it is going to move forward pretty quickly with the enforcement, meaning the trying to actually get the cash and put it into the hands of the plaintiffs. Um, in incredibly related news, these same two plaintiffs are suing Giuliani again. <laughs> um, this time they are seeking... They're, they're asking a judge to permanently bar Giuliani from making defamatory statements about them. Um, some of the statements that he is alleged to have said seem to suggest that, no, even though he, he, he lost the case, that those statements, they're really true and that he has evidence to back it up. You can see it, you know, Thursday after next or something like that. Again, paraphrasing. Um, I, I feel like that's probably going to move forward pretty quickly as well. The uh, it, It's not an unreasonable request, especially given the, the outcome of the first case. So everything right now seems to be leaning very heavily in favor of the plaintiffs. And I realistically don't see that changing anytime soon. Uh, it, it does look like Giuliani's going to have to pay up on this one. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.